Juan described you pretty well. This shit isn't easy to find. Nothing is ever simple with Juan. You can buy drugs. Of course, it had to be my own unit. Here comes trouble. Easy now. Easy. Vamos! The old man better send his best. My name is Raisa, and I'm going to be helping you steal shit from Castillo today. Are you going to tell me what I'm stealing? Depleted uranium. <laughs> Perdon. I thought you just said uranium. You heard me. Look, all I know is I burned my last contact in the army tracking it down for Juan. You ex-military? Isn't everybody? Okay. You show me where it is. First, you take this parachute. Trust me, it can save your life. Now I'll take you to the old Spanish fort. They've got it locked up inside. must be watching me. Conscript or volunteer? Conscript. My number came up, so I did my time. You? Volunteer. All I wanted to be was a soldier. You know, wear the uniform, serve my country. Found out the only kind of soldier Castillo wants is a blind fascist addicted to his every word. So now you're a traitor. Yeah, and I'm not the only one. There's a guard posted at the watchtower ahead. He's going to let us use it to scout out the fort. He can also give us useful info. What does he want from us? One, not to get his ass shot. So keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. What's the problem? What the fuck, Danny? He could have given you valuable intel. Come on, we're wasting time. your phone to scout out enemy soldiers and see their weaknesses. I bet Juan's already given you his right tool for the right job, talk.
Where is the officer in charge? Alvarez has the key to the armory. Careful, Danny. He's higher rank. In Castillo's army, that means he's better trained, quicker with the trigger, and a tough motherfucker. This fort is the most protected base on the island. These soldiers have been issued with body armor and helmets. Nothing armor-piercing rounds can't handle. Use the workbench if you need to craft some, and then go snatch that uranium, Danny. That parachute I gave you could come in handy here. Just don't drop into the middle of the fort, okay? the key to the armory.
de tu vida y la mía. Disipaste en mí las penas, hoy recobré la alegría. Diste luz a mis tinieblas y a mi pobre alma vacía. Be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know. They're soldiers. Don't say anything at all. Yeah! And do what they do. Ah, see. You're okay. Oye, Juan. <laughs> this is resolver, Danny. Depleted uranium. Soviets left these sexy byproducts of nuclear enrichment behind in the 80s. Giant use for tank armor and bullets. <laughs> Crazy assholes. Sounds dangerous. You'll be a fucking superhero, Danny. Lita and I used to sneak these into the orphanage. Essential reading while waiting to fuck up convoys in the mud. A guerrilla must be a sponge for inspiration. Okay, but what the hell is this? This is a Supremo. Looks like a rocket launcher. See, she does that too. One more thing. I want you to meet Tostador. The two go together like fire and fury. I like how you reserve verse one. So do I. Vive libertad. Supremos are like a good dog. Or a great sandwich. Are you just hungry, Juan? Yes. But I'm talking about layers, Danny. Head to the workbench and I'll show you. Hola. Stay strong. Supremos are like a good lover. Or a great sandwich. Are you just hungry, Juan? Yes. But I'm talking about layers, Danny. Head to the workbench and I'll show you. Supremos aren't just simple tools. Let's take a look at that Supremo. The special ingredient that makes this all Pick a gadget, Danny. This is a safe space. There's no wrong answer here. Talk to Clara. Time to give that Supremo a workout.
Now go talk to Clara. Time to put that Supremo to use, guerrilla. Hola. Que vuelta. Good. You're here. I don't need to hit that slave camp hard. Suerte. Hola, guerrilla. Time for a test drive of that Supremo. Now, if things get too heavy with the soldados, just put... For a test drive of that Supremo. Now, if things get too heavy with the soldados, just pull the trigger. But one tiny, tiny thing you should know. Uh huh. The Supremos are in an experimental phase. They need time to breathe after you use them. You know, so they don't overload and kill you. Could have told me before I strap one to my back. Just let that Supremo feed off the blood of your enemies. What? <laughs> You'll get it, Danny. <laughs> You'll get it. Easy now. Finally. Listen. I'm not going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami. But instead my two best friends are dead and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there, and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire, and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. Right protective gear in the right situation will keep you alive. Yeah, the right tool for the right job. Been hearing that a lot lately. Listen, Julio. Lita was like a sister to me. She shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you, Ross. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, you need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucked up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy, or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Coño. So you're military. Marksman? Close us all? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison, but guerrillas need gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against.
Up here, Dali. Here, fun fact. Poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Big boom. Same idea with the fumigators. They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that Supremo. Time to fuck up all this Vaviro bullshit. You know, Lita and I had a ritual. Psych us up before battle. A song. Hit me. El movimiento. Believe it?
You want us to take down Anton's ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. The fuck are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Hefa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It's won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing. Unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns, today. Because today I'm going to punch a hole through Castile's warships! I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. Get that chopper up and running. See, but there's an anti-aircraft cannon blocking the airspace around Castillo's warships. Okay, Juan. I'll take it out. Silvio, because if it gets me, I'll make sure my fiery corpse comes down on you like a meteor. Oh! 
Uh. 